what we've got here is a, a, a stock FLHX. They broke it in, put uh, probably a thousand miles or so on it to, to make sure the engine was broke in. Then they put the turbo on it. Starts and runs like a stalker. It rides like a stalker on steroids. Uh, we're seeing some pretty decent numbers. Um, stock horsepower on this uh, Street Glide was uh, 69 and torque is 86. Uh, our best out of these today was uh, 125 horsepower and 139 on the torque, but it's averaging around 120, 119, and about 135, 138 foot-pounds of torque. What the big torque number means uh, basically is uh, when you go to pass on a highway or go up that hill, this thing just will roll. It doesn't stop. It just seems like it just pulls and pulls and pulls. You can see that uh, you got a real usable power band uh, from 3,000 all the way up to the red line. When you're running, like I said, 80 mile an hour down the highway at 3,000 RPM, you can see this thing's just going to accelerate very quick. And then it's going to hold that all the way up to way faster than you're supposed to be going on the highway. In the mountains, you'll be able to pass uh, trucks or whatever, get around whatever you want to get around. The turbo doesn't, it's not going to be like a two-stroke dirt bike with a, you know, crack the throttle in and then it comes on. This thing has no flat spot before it comes on. Anybody that knows how to ride these things is going to be very comfortable riding it. One of the things we wanted to show you was our intercooler here. We haven't really touched on it much. Um, it's in the middle of the intake charge stream and it lets uh, ambient air come in, cool the air charge off, cooler, denser air goes into the engine and makes more horsepower. This is uh, different from uh, an automotive or any other manufacturer's turbo in the sense that uh, the oiling system is self-contained. We can put it back here on the back of the header uh, and not have to worry about uh, plumbing oil lines to it. All your oil is in the cold side of the compressor housing, gives it more of an aerodynamic look, more stealthy. A lot of people don't realize that, that this thing has a turbo on it. The system efficiency is, is considerably better. You don't have to keep it close to the engine because you're worried about getting oil lines to it. This is the cold side of the turbo here, where the back of your leg is going to be, and you're not going to feel any more heat than you would from a stock configuration. A couple different footboard options that we've tried for the passenger, they seem to clear pretty well. So if you're worried about uh, taking the mama with you to the, the next poker run, no worries. We've got a lot of Harley dealers that, that have installed these in the past. Um, even before the fuel injection, they were running carburetors on these things. So, yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to ride this thing from coast to coast. Matter of fact, I'd like to ride it to Daytona or something. <laughs>